Lens Protocol is a Web3 social network, and in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick and easy tutorial on how you can claim a lens handle and then get started using this protocol. Now, if you're not familiar with Lens and how it works, it's essentially a decentralized social media network where you own your own handle or profile and you have followers, but that can be transported across many different apps. So with this Lens protocol, for example, people will build a Facebook and a Twitter and a YouTube. And so you can use your same profile and your same handle with all the same followers across all of these different applications which is great because you have full ownership over your followers and your handle and you can bring it with you anywhere you go. Oh, and also there may be an airdrop of a lens token at some point in the future. This is not confirmed, but a lot of people have speculated. So the protocol is currently in closed beta. However, there is early access available for people that either hold certain types of NFTs or PO apps or that have signed up for the wait list. And so if you click on the claim handle button, and you notice that you don't have any handles currently available, don't worry because there's other ways that you can get it. You can join a wait list. And if you connect your wallet to join the wait list, there's things that you can do to move up it. For example, you can connect your Twitter accounts or your GitHub and Instagram accounts. Now, once you do have a handle that is available to claim, I'll show you how it works. You're gonna want to sign in with your wallet address on the lens.xyz application sign a message and this will pop up here asking me to choose my handle. So I'm just going to create an at Crypto Cove handle here, but there's a couple of ways that you could approach this. So for example, if you wanted to try to mint a handle that might be rare or valuable because these are basically NFTs and you can actually trade them. Well, you can search to see if any names are still available. So for example, Samuel is taken, so you wouldn't be able to get that. But anyways, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to mint my actual handle that corresponds with my wallet. So once you choose your name, it has to be minimum five characters, by the way, go ahead and hit next. And it might take a couple of seconds, but this handle at Crypto Cove is going to be my lens protocol handle that I can bring with me to any of the different applications that are built upon the lens protocol, which I'll show you a few examples in a minute once we set this account up. Now, the second step is to enable free transactions. And since this is on the Polygon network, you're going to need to have a Web3 wallet and probably have at least a small amount of Matic in it to pay for certain types of transactions. However, the setup of this, including updating a profile picture will be free, which is nice. And then I can choose to upload a profile picture. So I'll go ahead and upload the same PFP that I'm using for YouTube and Twitter. So that is done and I have now created my lens handle, but this is where it starts to get really interesting because we can actually explore the ecosystem of applications that are built upon the lens protocol. So I can scroll through a bunch of them here. These are all different apps and different types of social media networks that have been built upon the Lens protocol. So I'm gonna open up Hey for starters, which is one of the first ones. It's basically like a Twitter or a Facebook mix. It's a social media platform though. So when you open that up, you log in with the same wallet that you minted your Lens handle to, and then you have to sign a message in your wallet to be able to sign in. And once I do that, this is what the hey.xyz application looks like. So this is the home page here. I'm not following anybody yet. And if I go to my profile page over here, this is what it looks like. So you can see I'm not following anybody and I don't have any followers, but if I follow people or I get followers, they will show up here, but also, if I opened up a different application, so for example, Butterfly, let's say, and this one is closer to like an Instagram social media, well, those same followers and people that I'm following on Hey would also carry over here to Butterfly, which is super convenient. And so that is why Lens calls itself the last social media handle that you will ever need. Because once you mint your profile and start collecting followers and following people, then it is incredibly versatile. So going back to the Hey application, if I want to, I can post something. So I could say, let's say, is this thing on? And when you hit post, it goes through automatically. It is a free transaction. And that is because the Lens protocol is on the Polygon network, which already has super, super low transaction fees. But actually a lot of these applications like Hey is subsidizing users' transactions. So normally I might have to pay say one cent to post a transaction like this, 
but hey.xyz is covering that for us. So going back to the home page here, since I'm not following anybody, nothing is showing up, but I could hit on the explore tab and this is where I could find some people to follow. So now I'm following a couple people. I can check out what is popular and what is trending. I guess I could follow the lens protocol itself. You can also like posts, you can reshare posts or mirror them. You can quote them by hitting on that same button and then selecting quote post. And of course you can comment on other people's posts the same as you could on basically any social media platform. Now, one of the other really interesting features of the lens protocol is that they have a collect option. So if you open up this page, there is this button down here that is called collect. And if you collect someone's post, it essentially mints it as an NFT on the Polygon chain to your wallet address. So if someone posts something that you think is super interesting, or you see a, a photo or a video of something that you really like, you can basically mint it as an NFT. And sometimes there's a fee for it, but sometimes it's completely free. So for example, I can collect this post by the lens protocol completely for free just by hitting on that button and then signing a transaction in my wallet. Now, if I go back to my profile here, I can see that I've got this post that I made. And since I mirrored this post by Lens Protocol, that is showing up down here as well. Now, if I hit edit profile, there's a few other things that I can do here. So for starters, I can put my name, I can put a website, and I can also link to my Twitter or my X profile. So I will go ahead and do all of that and then click save. Now in the account tab, there's other things that you can do. And this is a really interesting feature. You can set something called the super follow where people can pay you in cryptocurrency and you can choose how much you want to charge. It can be in Matic, ETH, Tether, USDC or DAI. And then people can pay a small amount to follow you if you want to have super followers. So it's kind of similar to having a Patreon or something like that. You can have cash gated or token gated entrance to a super follow community on lens, which is interesting. You can also select different interests if you want, and then your feed or your homepage will be filled with specific types of content based on the interests that you select. And in the allowances section here, you can actually allow these modules that will basically make it so that you don't have to sign a transaction every time you want to do something like collect someone else's post. If you allow these modules, then it will just execute automatically. So it's like you're pre-signing the transactions and then you can collect posts all the time. So I will go ahead and do this, for example, hit next and approve. And this transaction is actually gonna cost me about one cent. But then in the future, anytime I want to collect someone else's post, I won't have to sign a transaction. And so those are the basics of how you get started using the Lens protocol and the Hey application. There's other apps, of course, that you can interact with. So for example, this one is the Butterfly app. So if I go ahead and connect my wallet and sign into the Butterfly application, I can sign in as Crypto Cove. And then you'll notice if I go to my profile page on the Butterfly app, it's the same thing. All of those changes I just made on hey.xyz are already applied over here. I have the same number of followers and the same number of people that I'm following. And the post that I made on Hey XYZ is also showing up here on Butterfly. And the same thing applies to every other application in the Lens Protocol ecosystem, which is awesome. So now before I leave you, let's briefly talk about the benefits of this. For starters, you actually get sovereign control over your own social media handle and your followers and the people you're following, as well as all of your posts and content travel with you from app to app, which is a completely unique feature we've never seen before. Also, a second potential benefit is that you can make money from this. So for example, when you make posts, you can actually charge people a small amount of money to collect those posts as NFTs. You can charge people for super follows. So if you build a community of followers or become some sort of influencer on the Lens Protocol, you can actually make money from that. You can monetize in completely new ways that you can't do, for example, if you have a Twitter account where you can only really monetize through ads or affiliate marketing. And of course, the final way that you can potentially benefit from this is that if the Lens Protocol doesn't airdrop at some point in the future, they're obviously going to reward their users and the people that use multiple different applications that post more, that interact more, will probably get a larger 
form of an airdrop because every post and retweet and follow and mention and comment that you leave is an on-chain transaction that can be linked back directly to your crypto wallet that you sign up for the Lens protocol with. So if there is an airdrop in the future, the more that you interact with all of these different applications, the better it will be. This right here, tape.xyz, is basically the YouTube of the Lens protocol. It's for video sharing. So yeah, there is tons that you can do. This is a really big ecosystem and I highly recommend getting on the wait list and trying to get a referral code from somebody else to get your lens protocol handle and then start interacting with the ecosystem. It's fun and you could also make money. So hopefully you found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you in the next video.